What's up everybody, my name is Coalfire and welcome to Lonesome. This is a new western styled action RPG? I don't know what it really is, like, uh, it's western, it's an action RPG, and I think it has like some hack and slash elements, but uh, this is the alpha that has just popped up on Itch.io, and uh, I wanted to check it out, so let's just start. Walk around and let this world create its... Okay, so are we all mouse and... Oh, whoa, okay. That's pretty cool. Talk to people to receive quests. Look around and find the abandoned train station. All right, so what happens if I just decline it? Um, it's been a while since... Uh, oh, I'm sorry. It's been a while since the plague spread in our country. Our loved family members died to this horrible disease, and even worse things happen. But who am I talking to? You don't seem to come from here. Whatever you do, don't go near the abandoned train station. It seems like our families aren't really dead. Are there zombies in this? Is this a zombie western? Oh. Pick up items with E or left click. Okay, so what are... Roaming Randy? Hi there, but... Okay, you're pathfinding. You <laughs> can't go around objects yet. I heard something moving over there. Okay. Hi, Skilly Bro. Dodge enemy attacks with Q. Whoa, okay. Q. Uh, Q. Oh, shit, okay. Uh, Q. That doesn't seem to be working. <laughs> How do I attack? Oh, right click. Okay. <laughs> all right, all right, let's just get one more shot off. Beautiful. All right, we took some damage. That's okay. That's okay. What are you? Switch? Okay, so sometimes the world pops up by itself, and sometimes it's activated by something else. Uh, look around to find the abandoned train station. I can, I think I can do that. So, was there supposed to be another path that pops up this way? Or perhaps down here? Maybe over, 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 n nope, nope, okay, well, Randy, Randy, do you have any direction, ah, there we go, okay, so is there like a little bit of a part, ah, particle effect that shows when, boof, nice, okay, okay, when, yeah, a new area is gonna pop up, ooh, this one has a different style to it, hi guys! The Dead and the Damned, complete quest. Your reward, 90 experience and a new gun. Can I have it? I'm glad you're here. Thanks, man, I appreciate it. Uh, so, oh, I can zoom in. Whoa, okay. Find and slay six skeletons. They're everywhere around this station. Our neighbors are friends and loved ones. They turn into those horrible monsters and there's only one, left chan one chance left to free their damned souls. All right. I'll, I'll go kill some baddies. What's this? New abilities can be found and acquired. Uh, inventory. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Bo. That's okay. Good job, gloves. And ability piercing shot. Whoa. See your learned abilities with K. Rank one. Okay. Uh, cooldown time five. All right. That's cool. I do think it's weird that I can't move around with WASD though. And uh, dodge doesn't actually seem to do anything. Whoa, okay. Ah, stop it. All right, let's uh, take a step back and one. Miss, joy. Okay, we'll just finish you off. That was two of six. Damn, I like this gun. Nice. What What are you, game? I'm not doing anything. Game, please. Oh, okay, that was weird. Character. Constitution is life. Constituty. <laughs> Strength uh, increases damage and critical damage. Dexterity increases damage on bows and crossbows with increased accuracy and critical chance. And proficiency increases ability damage and increases resources. Um, so, 
let's do gun damage. Five stat points available. Uh, ooh, okay. We'll do that then. And a skeleton just popped up. How do I get out of this menu? Character C, okay. Okay, we can one-shot these bad boys now. Nice. All right, so let's go back into our inventory. Crimson Gauntlets, hand slot and magic item. Okay, so if I go into, what, C? No, V just, okay, hold on. Um, how do I equip something from this menu? Oh, that just unequips? Oh, I do both, okay. Three armor, regain life after killing an enemy. I like that. So can I like drag and drop this into that slot? Uh, main hand slot item, main hand slot, hat. Uh, the gloves I have are the best possible ones right now. And then I go I and C again, okay. And v, there we go, there's our HUD. Nice, send them to hell? I thought we were trying to send them to heaven. I'm a bad man. Okay, let's, let's, okay, I can't. So clicking on an item that's out of your range. Um, game? Game? You're not, you're just not responding now. Um, escape, resume. Game? Game? Um, I, C, V. All right. Well, I seem to have broken it. So, can I move around with the arrow keys? No? Okay, yeah, so, I'm not sure how much I like the combat controls. The mechanics are fine. Uh, the dodge roll doesn't actually seem like it can be used to dodge, uh, partially because the enemy animations are... Okay, well, I can't... I can't do anything, so you're just gonna kill me one health point at a time. I think I regain, oh, no, never mind. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm just stuck. So, um, it doesn't feel like the dodge can actually be used to dodge something, because when I timed dodge roll, both as I started to see the beginning of the animation and as I like anticipated it, neither of them ended up reducing any damage that I took. So I don't know if there needs to be invincibility frames on there or something like that. Uh, let's see what happens when we die. Press escape to continue. Um, zoom. Okay, well, at least we can reset the game like that. That's cool. But, uh, since everything's controlled with the mouse, it feels really strange trying to like click one direction and shoot in another direction and like manage your movement while you're managing your enemies. And I don't know, I feel like that just needs a whole lot of polish, like maybe being able to move around with uh, WASD or the arrow keys. I get that the left hand is gonna be doing a lot of other stuff when it comes to like dodge rolls, but since that's already on Q, that makes me think WAS and D are gonna be used for that. So you have me a wee bit confuzzled game. Um, and then, I, I don't know, I don't know. I think a lot of the stuff that I have to say just is based off of the kind of clunkiness of the controls right now. And uh, I hope that that gets polished up because I like this, kind of tile-based idea. It's it's interesting, and it's not something that I've seen before. It's kind of like a fog of war, but it allows each area to be completely unknown before you get into it, and uh, I like that, I like that. And the fact that there's kind of a, um, like a little glittery effect that shows up when you uh, are getting near one that is gonna pop up, because otherwise it might be a little bit frustrating just like trying to find the edges of the map and just seeing which ones 
have something that pops up, so it's it's a good thing that they're indicated in some way. But if you guys want to try this out for yourselves, maybe uh, see if you can get a little further without breaking it than I did, then the link is down in the description below. Leave these devs some feedback, because this, this game looks like it could have a lot of potential. It's just a little bit on the, um, the partially broken side right now, which, for an alpha, is completely fine. It really is. So, uh, nothing against that. But this has been Lonesome. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Coalfire, and I will see you next time.